Hey guys, how's it going? I'm wrapping this uh, little project up. This is a uh, just kind of a light duty uh, workbench that I kind of put together. Um, got a 12 gauge top, two inch uh, square legs, some braces in there, and uh, you know some. Got to have some diamond plate on there to uh, spiff it up a little bit. Uh, but this is a, a eight foot bench, and um, it turned out pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and build another one. Um, that was the original plan, is to have two of them. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of the process to uh, put something like this together. Maybe give you some ideas and you can take them and turn them into your own and uh, build your own. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started on this little project. Nice workbench. Kind of a light duty one. Like I said, 12 gauge top so you're not going to be uh, pounding on this table. But it'll be a nice bench to uh, you know do some work on and store some things underneath and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and get this project started. On the uh, other one, it's gonna be a four foot version of this, so exactly half of this one here. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm kind of starting off with uh, building um, the adjusters for the um, height of the table. Not really intended to adjust the height, but more of um, get it balanced out and leveled. Um, so it's not sitting there weeble wobbling all the time. So basically what I've got here is um, some caps for the uh, two inch square uh, legs um, with the uh, nuts welded on them and then some foot pads with a uh, bolt welded on them. Same style and same idea that I did for my heavy duty workbench here um, except considerably larger. Uh, this is a inch and a quarter bolt I believe. Um, and you can see how that's done up. The nut is welded to this plate on the inside here. So, same type of deal. Basically, just something um, that you can adjust in and out to uh, gain an inch or two if, if you need to, um, but mostly to uh, level the table out. So, um, that's what I've started here making. And we'll go ahead and start getting these uh, caps welded onto the, uh, the legs here. Okay guys, so I got my uh, end caps put on my um, legs here for our um, adjusters, you know, to level the table out. Um, so that's all fine and dandy there. Um, my next step is I'm going to go ahead and start splicing some pieces together to create the uh, kind of the framework for the underside of the table. Um, right now we've got it flipped upside down. Um, so we'll get um, some pieces spliced together, kind of like what I did on this uh, leg here. I'm working with primarily drop sections of 2 inch square tubing, um, just to save, uh, save myself some money. Um, so it, it would uh, be a lot faster and a lot easier um, if I had um, some sections of uh, uh, full pipe, or uh, full tubing rather. So, um, but I want to go ahead and get these all used up. Um, good opportunity to uh, use your leftover pieces. So we'll go ahead and get started on that and I will show you how I splice my stuff together. Okay guys, so I'm just showing you kind of how I uh, splice my uh, tubing together. Um, I've got two pieces of angle iron uh, that are clamped to the sides of the square tubing, as you see it here. And I'll go ahead and get a uh, tack on the four corners and then I'll go ahead and remove the angle iron and then I'll go ahead and run my beads around. Um, I'll start here on one side, jump to the other side. Um, that way uh, it won't want to pull as you go around the square tubing. So it helps uh, keep it a little bit straighter it seems like. And um, I've had really good luck um, doing it in this manner. Um, I've spliced together 15 and 20 foot sections of square tubing. Uh, just like this and it seems to uh, stay very straight um, you'll get some pull uh, from side to side uh, but just making sure that you get um, it straight uh, when you get tacked using the angle iron uh, seems to be the best trick I found so I'll go ahead and get this welded out and uh, we'll keep moving forward okay guys I just wanted to show um, how straight uh, these pieces of uh, tubing can come out. Um, this one here's been spliced, obviously. Pretty goddamn straight. Um, 
so that's that's plenty straight for our purposes of this um, uh, little bench build. Um, you know, uh, the further you get out, you know, if you are splicing together a 20 foot section of this, it will start to pull. But uh, you know, that's pretty much what clamps are for. So we'll keep on moving. Okay guys, so we got um, these uh, pieces all tacked in there. Again, this is the underside of the table. Um, so we're kind of building it upside down right now. Um, so I got my pieces all spliced in there and I got this uh, all tacked up. I'm going to go ahead and add in um, these little uh, gussets here just to help um, stiffen up the corner. Just a little triangle piece that kind of fits in there and uh, weld down, weld down and cross. So. Um, that should be pretty sufficient as far as that. We'll go ahead and add a um, a cross member here in the center. Um, probably a little bit unnecessary, but uh, we'll go ahead and stiffen that up as well. Being uh, these are pretty light duty uh, workbenches, but uh, should be fine. Um, the way I, I like to cap all my tubes, um, I don't like to have the um, exposed ends open on the tubes. Um, this one here is going to be in the back, so I'm not going to worry about it because you'll never see it. Um, but I did these on the sides full, so that way it caps off this tube. And then obviously I've got the front side, uh, <clears throat> the front uh, edge of the table uh, broke, so that way it kind of creates a nice rounded edge for the front. So that kind of caps off that end, um, so I don't have to worry about that. And so it just saves you a little bit of work um, thinking ahead. Um, if you are particular about having your um, tubes capped and whatnot, I don't care to have the uh, open ends. I think it looks kind of uh, just not real clean. Um, so if you're going to have the tubes uh, facing forward like that, I would probably go ahead and cap them, but I think I lucked out on this one. So we'll get this uh, all skipped in here. Um, you don't need to add very many skips. Um, I'm probably overdoing it. Uh, the way I am, uh, but uh, we'll get these uh, all skipped in here, and then uh, we'll start getting our legs tacked on. Um, we will need to cut some pieces here. These are um, just one inch square tube, and we'll get those cut at uh, 45 on each end, and we'll uh, keep pressing forward. Okay guys, so uh, we got our legs put on there now, we got our uh, little braces put on, um, adding some uh, stability to the uh, legs, and we got all that um, set in place now. Um, this particular one, th this uh, bench here is going to have a shelf in it, something that you can adjust for height. Um, this larger bench, I did not want to put a shelf on there um, because um, I want to store my larger stuff underneath here, like my um, big um, battery charger, um, my little portable welders, and you know, my little service cart and stuff like that will hopefully all fit up underneath here, and that'll save me a ton of space in the shop. Um, so that that um, we didn't want to put a shelf on that one. This one here this is going to be for uh, smaller stuff uh, that won't get used all the time. Um, so we are going to end up putting a uh, shelf on this one. So um, we're going to do some um, shop uh, reorganization and we're going to get everything um, set in stone. Um, just kind of playing around with the layout. Getting the most I can out of uh, the shop that I'm in right now. A 25 by 25 approximately uh, two car garage. So. Um, just gotta play with what you got for the time being so thanks a lot guys we'll uh, keep pressing forward hey guys how's it going so I just kinda wanted to show the uh, final or the finished product I suppose um, this is the little bench that we put together um, that's the big bench there um, I need to get this one here leveled up with those uh, feet adjusters to bring it to the same height as that one and we can do that easily. I did add some uh, aluminum diamond plate just to the corners just to kind of dress it up a little bit make it look nice. Um, the only thing that I added that you guys probably didn't see was the um, little pieces of a uh, one inch square tube that goes across. Um, not only for supports but also gives you some adjustment in your um, 
shelf height. If you want to set bigger stuff down below, go ahead and raise your uh, shelf up there. No big deal. So we're getting it all loaded down with all the stuff I need to store on it. And it's working out pretty good. So that is um, how I built these two benches. And I think they turned out really nice. And uh, definitely a uh, capable workbench. 12 gauge steel top. So I think they turned out nice. So thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.